Well, hello everybody, this is Fracture, and I welcome you to Let's Play System Shock, the original DOS version, and we're up to part 5. We just used the combination we retrieved from cyberspace to get into the medical armory. Why a medical wing has a full armory, I don't know. And so far, I haven't come across anybody alive who's in a chatty mood. Strange, some kind of solid barrier has blocked my pro oh right, close the door. Wow, this guy's really moving. Oh, and this one. I guess we've come across the Zombie Olympic team. Bullseye. Definitely not a doorbell. Ooh, Android Toxic Barrel Guard. Their specialization. Carl has come back from recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion, and now he's a cyborg assassin. Carl marked the room with the word here before he ran. 
One of the technicians says we can just flip a switch and make the converter a surgery unit again. With only 12 of us left, though, it may be an academic point. Maybe someone else should have been leader. The resistance faction led by Keith Swanson left a week ago. We found the mutants fighting over the remains this morning. We're caught between the mutants and the cyborgs, so I'm worried whether we can carry out Darcy's plan. We're going to send Alan and Carl through the cyborg territory to reach the elevator. Now we've got to get to the bridge and stop Shodan. Some of us want to go to the flight deck and escape instead. Hopefully, there's still some weapons in the armory we can use against the mutants. Todd Blankenship was able to get the combination 705 from a security officer. We're going to try for it tomorrow. Mutant is right. Looks like he's being barbecued on a rotisserie. Oh, sorry guys, didn't mean to interrupt your LARP session, or orgy, or uh, whatever, anyway. Ron, you know, I think we should just put this switch somewhere convenient. Yeah, okay, okay, installing, installing, whatever you want. Well, I'm not sure how helpful that'll be now. Oh well, at least it's open. So, we come to the end of another video, and as always, I thank you for watching, I thank you for listening, and I ask you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse, and I promise I'll read them all. If you're liking the videos, don't forget to subscribe and give them a thumbs up. Thank you.